Hi, my name is Gala. I'm a Looker Studio expert and the founder of Daily Reports. Yes, I know that for a lot of marketers, this transition to J4, it's a pain. And today I would like to make overview of one of my templates. This is Google Analytics 4 K metrics. Basic G4 dashboard that feeds for a lot of businesses. And this is not e-commerce, but like for any kind of business. So let's go to edit and check which data sources we have here. You can see this dashboard based on G4 Fluid account. This is Google Analytics demo account. You can connect it easily. Um, I teach about how to do it on my course, uh, but it's really easy to do. Mm. And let's check which fields do we have on this dashboard. Uh, we can see that we have seven pages. Overview, traffic, events, conversions, page screens, geography, and demography. First page is key metrics. Here we have active users, new users, average engagement time. This is calculated field, uh, events, conversions, and event counts per user. Here we have new type of score box with some time series chart. Uh, so if you go to edit mode, you can see this one, one score box, one type of chart if it contains metric and sparkline in comparison with the previous period. So here we have last month's data and uh, this comparison with April. Uh, on the first page also we have instrument to compare two periods of time. Here we have um, this quarter compared to previous quarter. But we can do like, for example, um, do, 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 last month, for example, we can apply last month, and here we can select something. We compare April with April. Uh, so I think it's really nice because you can see on one screen uh, main KPIs from two periods. It could be April, or you can compare, for example, with May, maybe with January, and see dynamic. So it's flexible. You can compare to different period of time. They're independent, and you can see that from January you have like a really huge growth, uh, but average engagement time is the same. It looks weird, but yeah, it's really the same. So you can compare to different periods. And here we have arrows and uh, optional metrics. If you click to arrows, you can see, yeah, we change from day to month and yearly breakdown. And metrics, uh, by default, we have active users, but we have all the six metrics in optional metrics, and you can change here and here as well. So I, I really like this tool, and you can see difference between two periods. I think it's really nice to observe your data. But let's move to the next page. Page number four, or number two, uh, where do users come from? And here we have uh, score boxes with filters, all sessions, organic search, paid search, organic social, organic video and referral. How did I do it? I use filters here. Yeah, it's a bit slow because uh, yeah, J4 demo account is a bit slow, but it's fine. So I use filters here uh, to filter and change metric name. So every wide sessions, I just add filter a change name. If you want to see other channels, you can change it based on your real data. Here uh, we have time series chart. Again, we have arrows and uh, optional metrics icon, and we can change uh, sessions to engage sessions, active users. So check some different metrics and see, for example, I want to see active users. And we see traffic breakdown by active users. We see active users by different uh, traffic source. And if you go up, 
we can see only my data, but we have data only for one month. So it's only one dot. If you change the date range here, your picture will be nicer. And the uh, next table that you really like, we can see dynamic monthly months for each social channel. And we can see, for example, so direct traffic in June, but June is not finished, but it's growing. Direct traffic is not nice, but display, we didn't use display ads in May, in September. Um, so it's nice to see your session by a really long period of time. Uh, it's nice to see dynamic. And this is our traffic, traffic page. Let's move to events. Mm, here we have some metrics that related to events. So event count, event count per user, events per session, engaged session, engagement rate, and conversions. And here we have, again, you see we have optional networks and uh, we can drill down to months and years. And here we have time series chart by different events. Uh, events in this demo account is screen view user engagement, but in your case, it will be different event. And here we have uh, kind of same breakdown but total, uh, not divided by day, but total for month. So here is month. Uh, we can see that screen view is uh, the highest event, <laughs> it's the most popular event. Mm. In your case, in the real case, I would like to add here some filters. And for example, keep only events that make sense for my business because I think screen view is. Yeah, I can say a lot based on this event. Uh, again, we have pivot table where we can see our events in dynamic month by month. Um, yeah, this kind of page I like. Um, more or less same same page for conversions. I just we don't have key metrics because we don't have a lot of metrics in G four. So. Mm, we have conversions. So basically, this is same charts, but we have filter conversions only here. So we count only conversions. And here we already have not every event, but only events marked as conversions. And uh, here we have another kind of table where we have event name, but again, here we filter conversions only. So maybe it makes sense to conversion name. Conver conversion name. It makes sense to rename it. And because I applied here filter conversions only, I'm a filter on the conversions and compare with the previous period of time. Number of conversions, uh, number of users, and total revenue compared with the previous period. Um, on the next page, we can see which pages and screens were visited most on your website. Uh, the structure of the page more or less the same. So time, day by day chart, time series chart, and bar chart. Um, and table below shows us pages and screens name and some metrics related to these pages. Geographically breakdown on the top has same logic, time series chart, bar chart. So we compare sessions by different countries and we can see that United States is more popular for this demo Google Analytics account. Here we can change sessions to other metric if you're interested in. And here we have tables with country breakdown and uh, yeah, here you can go down. Uh, you can go down, for example, you can see here arrows and you can change countries to languages. And see here, here, breakdown by languages. 
uh, actually interesting. You see, like sessions, it the uh, like okay, United States on the top, but different countries has a lot of sessions. But if you move to another languages, you can see that uh, the difference like super huge, and uh, the most of your website users comes uh, use English as a main language. So this is a uh, next level a city breakdown, and you can check uh, your data by city as well. This is geography, and last one demographical breakdown. Here you can see age and gender, uh, and uh, two tables like this age and gender. Like easy, that you already saw the, the same information or that one you have on the chart, but you have here on the table. And uh, J4 has interest, so we can check which interest are more popular for your website. That is it. Let me know if you like this template. I think it's really nice. Uh, it's simple, but it, it has most of the data that you need for daily tracking your website. And uh, I, I think it's more comfortable than Open Google Analytics because you have all charts in one place and you have some specific filters. So I really like this dashboard. Of course, if you want, if you like this template, but I think you want to customize it for your business, please contact me and uh, I can help you to customize it. Um, so it's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, please let me know what do you think about this template. Hope you like it. And see you soon.